Hey everyone. So first of all, I want to say that I'm sorry about not quite keeping a very regular daily upload schedule because sometimes I'll be working on a video past into the AMs. And then also I had my birthday recently, so I kind of skipped that day as well. But per my usual tendencies, I have many things that are in the process of being finished, but they're not quite out and uploaded just yet. And there's one particular project that's really taking a lot of mental toll on me. So I've decided to find something to distract myself with. So I found notifications on my phone saying when something was gonna be delivered to my door and it is a stand for my phone. This has been the stand that I've been using to keep my phone and to record sometimes. Uh, it's a music stand. <laughs> it's not a stand for uh, video. It's not a stand for your phone. It's not a stand for a camera, really. It kind of works as a platform, but that's about it. So I decided to buy a stand for my phone that works also with GoPros and I think some other things as well. So I'm going to do an unboxing video because I need to upload every day and unboxing videos are easy. Foxy, you're doing an unboxing video in, 20, in 2020? What's wrong with you? This is the Daylear Selfie Stick Tripod, 62 inches tall. It can go up to that long length. Yes, I want to see all the dirty jokes about that one. So it looks like it's it was packaged in a box about this size, and then it became a box of this size inside with nothing, you know, like um, beans, which is a little bit not how it should be, there should be some beans, but it makes it so that I don't have to throw away as many, as much junk, which is nice. So I'm gonna use this uh, stand actually. Oh wow, that actually works. That's crazy that that works. I'm using like literally the pop socket to angle the camera in like this. Okay, perfect. So we have the instructions here, daily right here. This is the info that you receive here. Remote control connection, turn on remote control by pushing the switch. So I guess we'll get, we'll get to the remote control. And there you go, you got the dimensions of the different pieces. Please focus. Just like that, detachable tripod so you can use it as a selfie stick, which is pretty cool. This does not feel or look like the whole thing, but I could be wrong. I think I got, I think I actually bought the, maybe got scammed. This is great. <laughs> this unboxing video is going great. So that goes like that. Oh no, wait, this actually is that compact? I thought this was like the base and they just didn't give me the actual thing. But this is crazy. So this slides open like this. Just use like, like this. Boom, you got your tripod, then you got the tightening, which is like here, which takes a little extra couple of turns, but that's kind of how it works right there. And then this apparently is going to work. All you do is just pull out. Uh, and uh, wow, this actually just keeps going. That's crazy. So you got the bottom. So you got this, right? And then you got the bottom here. And then you got one more segment and then it keeps going until you reach the very, very top. Okay, feels quite stable. And then we have a GoPro stand. So that would go at the top, the very tip. This kind of setup where all you do is just place this Screw it right on, you can change angles. It feels really snug here. It feels like it takes pressure to move it, but the weight would never move this. It feels pretty solid. They do provide the thing for the GoPro. So you would un untighten this, pop it right in there, and then the GoPro would go in there. And you get an extra one of these as well with this. And then lastly, this part can be unscrewed as well, it looks like. This is the phone. It's literally a very tight spring here. 
but it's tight enough that it will really hold the phone upside down like this. It would work the same way as well. Oh, and you have different ways you can do it. So you can do it this way and then have the camera pointing whichever way that you wish or oops, you can do it from this side as well. And then set up the camera whatever way you wish around that as well. So you could have the camera this way and pointing in different ways down and up. And then it would work like this. And then you can tilt it in different ways. And uh, the only degree of freedom that you do not have is uh, <clears throat> this way, <clears throat> which you would have to just reposition your stand. Oh, and of course a camera would definitely be able to work with this kind of tip. Uh, this is rubber and this is very nice rubber. Uh, that will stay and survive quite a lot of, um, you know, screwing on and off. I think it would last a good bit, but you can always replace that piece. And then we got this, which is the remote control taking pictures, which we can test out. Camera 360 on and off controls. So when you turn on, it starts flashing. This is actually kind of erased in the packaging, I guess. Easy to set up and use. You got a regular watch battery over here that you can replace, which is nice. So this doesn't require any chargers to work. And that's basically the entire thing. And this comes with it as well, so that you can not lose your remote. So turn on remote control by pushing the switch on the right to on. So there we go, we have a blinking light. The light flashes in five seconds, which means it is ready to be paired. Click phone settings and enter into Bluetooth. All right, so we've paired the device. So it pairs instantly after it's been recognized, very quick. Start to search devices by Bluetooth until Dailier or AB Shutter is founded. It said AB Shutter 3 for me. Connect to Daily or AB Shutter until it is connected. Successfully open the camera on your phone and press the button on the remote control to take photos. All right now we're recording. And now it stopped recording. I literally pressed this button to Stop my recording. So that works. Droid, and this says iOS. So it, it works with either phone type, and it does work for camera, both for taking pictures and starting stopping video is the same button. Just click once and you get it. I'm gonna test out the range of this now. So now I'm using the stand right now. It's actually taller than this music stand, which is the usual height of a music stand. I'm able to easily switch between full vertical down all the way to horizontal. This is at 90 degrees that we are looking at a regular door. So the door height with a light, if we go straight right next to the door, you will be about at the second panel, as you can see, one, two, and this is above the door handle. This is about the phone being completely parallel to the ground. And then we have more, we can do all the way up like this as well. Sometimes it feels like if I want to do these turns, then I have to hold the piece that's holding the stand, which means you have to be a little careful so you're not twisting off this. Looks like it works from all the indoor distances. So we're going to go ahead and go outside, test this out on a bigger range. So overall pretty good. Uh, here's the design and what I was using and the range seemed to be pretty good. So if you wanted to record something on your own where you're driving by, then you can do that and then you can just jump cut it. So you can basically do filming yourself and this allows you to basically stop and start recording whenever you want to save memory and to take pictures whenever you feel like it from afar. If you have a group picture, you can easily have plenty of range to take a huge group picture of your high school class or anything of that sort as well. The other nice thing is this is extremely light, very easy to manipulate. Of course, it's very wiry. It is hollow. That's what keeps it light. So it is a bit flimsy. And of course, I think windy weather would definitely affect this in some sort of way. You can't expect this kind of design being so light to 
be able to stay shake resistant very easily. Uh, but the legs are pretty strong. So even as I'm tapping this right now off its legs, it seems to be pretty difficult to knock over with like a tap or a walk by, which is nice. But of course, you, this is designed to be as light and as easy and as little space taking as possible. So let's test out the selfie stick now. So for these, you would have to screw this off, which it does. As you can see, this was unscrewing down here. And now you just simply pull it through and it comes right off. And now you have a selfie stick. By the way, here's the proof that I have a pop socket. And this does fit onto the camera without having to interfere with the pop socket. And there we go. It fits without having to take off the pop socket or worry about it not fitting it. All right, we're right now using the selfie stick. We have all the legs extended as much as possible. This gives quite a bit of range, of course, to be able to view from so far away. I actually have never used this, the a selfie stick before, so this is very, very interesting and strange to me. <laughs> but it's quite comfortable. You can close some of the segments and that's the tightness I was talking about earlier that thing needs to be retightened sometimes so right now we're gonna re-switch the hold removing the pop socket in order to place the camera centered so there we go now it's centered and I'm doing like shakes and turns it's a little wobbly just a tiniest bit because I think I have the pop socket but I've pulled out the pop itself but the socket is still there so it's a bit weary based on that, but I'm sure it would be stronger if there wasn't that there. I'm gonna add a length of uh, a length here. The weight still feels okay. Uh, I'm trying to toss around. You can hear the squeakiness. Um, yeah, this model is not stern. It's designed to just give you the option that you're looking for without um, having to have a bunch of weight to lodge around. But it, this is definitely not the choice if you want to do some kind of driving on a motorcycle or riding on a snowboard while using a selfie stick for a phone. But this is designed to work with a GoPro. I don't have a GoPro to test this with yet right now. Um, but maybe in a future video, if we can hit 100 views, I'll do a test of a GoPro on this. Thanks for watching and... Uh, See you far away.